Hey, and welcome back. My name is Preston. In this video, we had the incredible opportunity to check out the amazing office space of Fi, a fast-growing technology company that is building a disruptive products for dogs. They were founded in 2017. They're backed by incredible VCs and investors, including Lira Hippo, the incredible Silicon Valley product leader, Gokul Rajaram, RE Ventures, and Freestyle. Most importantly, they are located here, a few blocks away from Astro Place in Soho. I'm excited to check it out with you all. Let's get started. Jonathan. Hey, Preston. Thank you so much for Good having you, me. Man. I, I really appreciate it. Of course. And this is such an amazing space that you have here. Thank you. But before we get started, for people who are unfamiliar with you and your company, can you please introduce yourself and your company and what you do? Of course. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Fi. We do a smart collar for dogs and we're here in New York. So because it's a company for dogs, do you have dogs in the office space? That's yeah, the we have a few. I think you saw the sign coming in, we will, we'll introduce them to you. Okay, maybe we'll see them soon. But I couldn't help but notice, what is going on here? Uh, this is actually swag. We just designed our swag. And so we, we received all of these packages we need to count and, and send back to our warehouse to be able to like sell online. Yeah, it's a lot of boxes there. It's so. a lot of boxes. It's just a small sample of what we had for us. But I guess, you know, we're the size where it's cool to have hoodies. Yeah, and just looking around, I just couldn't help but notice, compared to many other tech companies and e-commerce here in New York City, it's really unique with the columns and exposed brick. What drew you to the space and what do you like about it? Yeah, we just really like that it's an open space and that it's very easy for people to collaborate, but at the same time, like have private space to work together. I think with the dogs, it's very important for us to like just have space where they can like lay down next to us and you know, they're pretty calm. So it's pretty nice to have like some kind of space where we don't have to make any constraints and too many walls. Absolutely. I can see one right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. And so I also see looking to the space, you have some of your team here. So how many people are here? And then is everyone here at once? Or do you rotate because of hybrid policies? How does that work? Yeah, we pretty much have everybody here. Uh, people right now are on like four days in the office, one day at home kind of policy. Uh, and, and people kind of like flexibly juggle their, their schedule and timeline depending on like the type of work they have and the obligations they have outside of the, the office. Okay, and how big is your team now? The team is about 50 people, maybe 35 to 40 people in New York. And you can fit all of them here? Yeah, yeah, we can fit more than that. And we will, like, we're definitely growing. You might have to outgrow the space pretty quickly. I know, right? There are other floors available, but like, we really like this space. So hopefully we can make this work for a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great vibe here. So, all right, so what's next? What else can we see here? Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so we are in the kitchen, which arguably is the most important room in any office. <laughs> but yours is actually very, very unique. You have exposed black contrast wall here, which looks great. Did you design this yourself? <laughs> Not really, but I think what's important here is like, it's kind of representative of like the type of environment we're trying to set in the office. Like if you see, it's like a little alcove, it's a little bit separated, but at the same time, we have space for people to like make their own coffee and spend time together. We can have a side conversation here without disrupting people working right here. That's kind of like how we like to organize the space here. For sure. And I couldn't help but notice behind you, Jonathan, all those bottles of champagne, even bottles of tequila. Is that, <laughs> is that for when you and your team celebrate with every sale that happens? We, we celebrate every time. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> every day we, we find a reason to celebrate. So I love it. So this is an exposed open plan behind you, but mm -hmm. I can also help but notice in front of us is your office space, your main office space. Yeah, and yeah. it's a very classical open layout. Can you just maybe share where each of your teams sit? Sure. So like in the front of the office, really, we have all the, the marketing team. The finance team is sitting in the back there. We have a few of the CX agents uh, in the back there taking care of customers. This is product and design and engineering is here in the middle. So like we always try to organize these areas in a way that makes it easy for people to just like swirl their chair around and work with someone next to them. It's all about collaboration and uh, we have a few breakout rooms, fun booths in the front, separate meeting rooms that we can use when we need like more privacy and mm -hmm. like, things mm -hmm. like that. Another thing that I thought about is that the location of your office, you're here in NoHo in Manhattan, which is very close to Astor Place, very close to Soho, very close to like just the downtown heart of Manhattan. Is there a reason why you chose this area and this location in, in New York City? Yeah, we, we just want it to be very central. We love this area. Uh, it makes it easy for everyone to like go in and out of the office easily and, and really to commute easily to the office. There are a lot of really good food places around here. 
uh, as well and we're trying to organize as many like team lunch as possible we have like breakout lunch that we organize every week it's like random people of the company being pulled together and sent to lunch and like this is a good spot to do that i guess and you're right now rocking your swag so <laughs> what was the inspiration of your company's name is it fee is it five it's where did five. that come from it came from fido uh and it's funny because like we hired like a naming agency to do uh to do this thing and like five was like literally the first name they came up with and they came up with like hundreds of names after that and none of them could like beat Phi, which was the very first one they put on the board. I think it just like connects very well with what we're trying to do here. You know, Fido is like that typical dog name mm -hmm. and like Phi is kind of that bring to the next century that that name is that brand you know and that's what we're doing we're taking a space that was very dusty and that nobody really innovated for like years and we're trying to bring it to the next century yeah and i couldn't help but notice almost on every single dog here they're wearing the Fi product so what exactly is the product that people are curious yeah so the, the product is a smart color for dogs uh so it has multiple things first thing is that it tracks your dog everywhere it goes right so you can create geo fences like safety zones and if your dog escapes from the backyard or anything like like that you'll just trigger an alert right away on your phone and you'll trigger in the color the gps and lt chips that are allowing um, us to locate the dog and to send that information back to your phone so you can literally pull an app and and just see where your dog is at any point of time so that's kind of like the first core function of the product after that we're doing some really cool stuff with uh, the metrics we're measuring about the dogs, right? Like the first more simple one is like number of steps. And then we rank the dogs. We see the dogs who are walking the most, the, 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 the dogs who are a little bit more lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, we rank them by breeds, by age, by uh, uh, geolocation. And then we go a little bit deeper into kind of the medical field with like sleep tracking. Uh, where we actually monitor the, the amount of sleep that your dog is getting, but not only the amount of sleep they are getting, like the amount of rest they are getting in function of their activity, the ratio of uh, uh, rest they are getting during the day versus the amount of sleep they are getting at night, and things like how many times they wake up during the night, which are like indicator of more deeper health issues. Yeah, super important. And then just listening to you, I think what really jumps out about this whole opportunity with Fi is that compared to many other tech companies here in New York City, it's not just the pure software play. You have actually a hardware and you have an opportunity for people to be exposed to both the firmware world, the hardware world, including software in one. Yeah, we definitely build a mini Apple here, right? Like we're manufacturing in China, but all of the product design happens here in our own office. So like we design everything from picking the chips that goes on the board to the electronics, to the shape of the device, the different mechanical components of the device, uh, the different type of collars and, and mechanics involved in the dog wearing the collar. That, that's a pretty complex project, but everything is done here. Uh, if you think about our, our packaging, our own designers work on the packaging, design it from uh, start to finish. And so we have control of the entire customer experience. Really. I guess the only other question I have, which I'm sure people are curious, is, is it sounds like a, an amazing technology that's going to further develop through the years. Is it only available for dogs or will other pets be able to experience the magic of fire? I know you want me to do one for your cat, but uh, as of now, we're really focusing on the dogs. Uh, it's just that if you want to build some very exceptional product in one specific category, I think it's very important that you specialize it. Everything I just described like relies on us really understanding how a dog moves, right? How it sleeps, what are the typical patterns for a dog in that specific breed, for example, you know? Uh, and so if you start adding cats to the pool, well, either you treat them as a different breed of dog mm -hmm. or you just design a product that is just function for them. And so we don't want to do that. We really want to focus on like being the best cut off a dog. Fair enough. I guess I'll be, have to be patient for now. Yeah, I have to be patient. Um, and I guess lastly, I just couldn't help but notice, but aside from the open space, you, you also have some amazing conference rooms here. Mm -hmm. Can we go check them out with you? Of course. Let's, Let's do go. that. Jonathan, this is an epic conference room. So what happens here? Yeah, I mean, this is our boardroom. We do all of our main company meetings here. What I really like about this space is that this door folds open. Uh, and so that allows us to have the whole company participate to our Monday meetings and like uh, kind of like bleed from a meeting room where we can dial in everyone on the screen uh, uh, somewhere else in the US. And at the same time, have the whole company really participate and, and bleed into the, uh, the main open space here. I can see you have not one, but two screens behind you. That's pretty epic. Yeah, we have, we, have, we have quite a lot of people who are joining these meetings and like sometimes we put content on one screen and 
the faces of the people on the other, so. I see, and then you have a great wood patterned wall here with great posters. It's, it's very tastefully done, John. Yeah, so all of these pictures of dogs wearing the five color hats are actually coming from people posting on Instagram, a picture of their dogs wearing the five color So we just select the cutest picture that we find and we, we print them as posters and we frame them. That's so cool. And then you were saying just earlier that the five color, there's hundreds of patterns yeah. Uh, and you have a very engaging community yes. around your product. So what is really interesting is that uh, when we launched the five color, we only had two colors, yellow and gray. And then everybody wanted different colors and different textures and all of that. And obviously it adds a lot of complexity to the supply chain. So eventually we shipped like blue and pink, but then quickly we realized that we wouldn't be able to uh, do all the different patterns. And, you know, like I think there is a component of uh, fashion for uh, dog owners who like to really pick and choose what they are putting on their dogs. The incredible thing that happens is that actually on Instagram, we started seeing custom color emerged. Uh, so some people were having, uh, what they were doing is that they were shipping all color to Etsy sellers or like other small kind of like color manufacturers would cut the hardware out of the color to connect it into the Phi module and basically design a custom color for them. And so as we saw that thing emerge more and more, uh, we actually organized this community of manufacturers into what we now call the Phi Makers program, where we actually sell them directly the hardware parts to connect into the Phi unit. And, and so now we have like, uh, you know, a few hundreds of those companies making custom colors for Phi. And, and I have to say, some of these people were like just individuals doing that. Uh, Pre-COVID and during COVID, we actually created an opportunity for them to start their own company. We have people running shops right now, entirely fueled by uh, the order that we're selling to them uh, uh, of people who just want a custom car for their fi. That's incredible. What's your favorite color? Uh, well, Thor is wearing a leather one. A leather so one. So I have like a brown leather one with like an engraved plate. Like it's really uh, astounding uh, the, the the quality and the gamut of model that. Uh, you know, these this manufacturers out there are, are making. So Jonathan, you have done an incredible job so far building a great, solid team. You obviously have an epic office here in New York City. Your team's clearly working out of your office space. So if people are seeing this, they're curious about Phi, they're curious about some of the opening job positions that you're hiring for, but they're not in New York. Can they still apply? Yeah, of course. We'll consider any talent anywhere. There are some priorities we're making for different roles that we really want to be in office, but there are tons of other functions that we totally consider being remote. So uh, if they are interested in Phi, they should absolutely apply and we'll talk to them. Awesome. So we've seen your space, we've seen your conference rooms, and I think you said there is one more secret room to check out. Is that right? <laughs> That's a secret dangerous room. That's where we have all of our mechanical hardware and our testing machines, so come on over. Let's check it out. So we are at the secret room in an undisclosed location in your office. <laughs> <laughs> What's most important is that in front of us is your actual product. So can you maybe just walk me through this? Yeah, sure. So this is a Phi Color. Uh, this is an integration between like the electronic parts that we're designing here and the mechanical part that is like interchangeable. Uh, so obviously here, for example, you have a machine that is like a tensor that is designed to basically test the resistance of the color on different angle and kind of mimic the, the movement and the pressure that is applied from a leash being hooked into it. So we have fixtures like this that where we basically apply the color that mimics the neck of a, a dog that then we can mount onto uh, that machine and exert like extremely high like ton-like pressure uh, and tension on the color in different angles and measure how the color, basically the materials of the color deforms. It's just part of old kind of like the typical mechanical engineering that goes into designing products like that. Uh, behind you, what you're seeing here is more uh, uh, prototype manufacturing. So uh, as we design new products and we try to improve the parts of the product we already have, we're trying to manufacture parts and iterate quickly on prototyping. So these are like uh, 3D printers and, and CNC printers that are just like high resolution prototyping tool that we can use to quickly manufacture prototypes and, and test them on, on our different equipment. Is this waterproof? Yeah, it's, uh, it's IP68, meaning that it's submerged more than half an hour in, in bath and make sure that this is, uh, this is still working after that. And how long is the battery life? 
the battery can last up to three months for uh, certain environments like one of the characteristics of the the, the color and of the, the the algorithm that we develop is that it kind of radio hops so like if you're walking your dog it's going to try to rely on your phone to know its position so that it won't power gps which is really power hungry uh, but if your dog escapes in the woods, right away it's going to detect the break of that connection to, to Bluetooth, for example, and start powering GPS and LTE uh, uh, radios. By combining these different kind of like radio hopping technologies, we're able to save a lot of energy. So depending on your environment, if you have like a farm dog who is spending a lot of time outside uh, on its own, the car is probably going to last like two to three weeks on a charge. If you have a, a dog that is more like, uh, you know, at home most of the time, but when you take him out or when one of the dog walkers is taking him out, it can, it, can, it can last up to two, three months easily. Wow. So I guess uh, for similar competitors in the market, in your words, what are the biggest differentiators for your product? Um, uh, to be honest, we don't really like focus on competition. Uh, we're just trying to be build the best product out there. There are companies who try to do this for like the past 20 years, starting from, uh, you know, hunting colors and, and things with like big antennas coming out of the neck of the dog. And we just think the technology is there to really be, be able to build the, the next generation of technology for dogs and dog parents uh, and you know we apply ourselves to build the best product out there i think at this point we're far ahead from any other company trying to build technology in that space and and we intend to aggressively widen that space and 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 continue to build the best technology in the market it sounds like the future is truly exciting for you guys yeah absolutely we're very excited about what we're building now this is uh this is already old to uh, what i can show you today but uh yeah, we have serious innovation coming into the market and we're very excited about it. So Jonathan, I just want to thank you again for inviting us in and showing us your incredible space. What you and your team are doing are truly inspiring. I can't wait to see what you guys do for the next three to five years. Thank you, really appreciate it, Preston. Pleasure having you here. And maybe next time I come, you'll be in a different office space. Exactly. Thank you so much again. And good luck. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I also want to thank the founders and team of Five for allowing us to come in and view their incredible office space. I'm also excited to see what the company will do in the next couple of years. If you want to see more videos like these, don't forget to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you so much again, and we'll see you on the next one.